On this video, I'm going to discuss adding the video preview thumbnails in Plex. Now, the video preview thumbnails are also sometimes known as media index files or BIF index files, and they're a series of low resolution images from a movie or a TV show shown on the screen as you fast forward so you can see where in the movie you're at as you go through it. So what I'm going to look into is how these look on Netflix and Plex. I'm going to show you examples so you can see what exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you how to schedule your server to create them. You would want to schedule these during downtimes when you're asleep or when you're away from your server because they do take up some CPU time and I will show you that. I will show you how to set up your Plex server to create these immediately whenever you add new movies. It's very simple to do. I'm also going to show you a few other things about how this will affect your server, how to use them better, and then I'm going to end with a little warning about dumping large additions of files onto your Plex server. So I'm going to switch over to my television right now and show you how this looks on Netflix and Plex. So this is Netflix, and so I'm going to show you what the fast-forwarding thumbnails look like on Indiana Jones. So I'm just going to push play. And so the movie starts and I'm going to hit fast forward or the right arrow button, I guess, on my remote control. And you can see along the bottom the thumbnails that show where you're at in the movie. You can hold it down and it can fast forward through the movie until you see something that you want to see and say, okay, I want to stop on um, this. And so there you are. So that's how it works in Netflix. So this is Plex. And I'm going to movie on Plex. And so I'm going to fast forward. You can see on Plex, as I fast forward, there's no thumbnails to show me what's going on in the movie as I fast forward. I just have to guess where I'm at. And so that's not as helpful. So let's go back to the laptop and I'll show you how to get the thumbnails on your movies in Plex. So you can schedule your server to create the video previews. Let me show you how to do that. So you'll go into your settings and then on the left go to library and scroll down. And in the library, you can see that there's an entry for Generate Video Preview Thumbnails. And there are three choices in here. Never, which obviously does not create them at all. As a scheduled task, which will create the thumbnails only at certain times of the day that you define. And I will show you how to define those. Or as a scheduled task and when media is added. So this will do it as the scheduled task, or whenever you add a movie, it will immediately start creating thumbnails for that movie. Or if you add multiple movies, it will do all of them in a row until it gets them all done. Plex will also generate something called chapter thumbnails in the same manner, the same choices. Now these chapter thumbnails are different than the video preview thumbnails in that depending on what the what app you're viewing the movie in, uh, the movie may have chapters and you can see the thumbnail that begins the start of the chapter. Most movies have maybe a dozen or two dozen chapters, so the amount of metadata is not as great. It's not going to store nearly as much information as the thumbnails will. Thumbnails do store quite a lot, so make sure you have plenty of room. So let's see where that scheduled task is defined. So if you go down to scheduled tasks you can see that mine currently is set to start tasks at midnight and end them at 8 a.m. you can adjust these to anything you want I think by default they start at 2 a.m. but this allows you to define when you are going to be away from your server because as these things are created it does eat up some CPU power and you might not want this going on while you're watching or while you're transcoding or whatever so it really depends on what system you're on and how powerful your CPU is as to when you want this happening. So I am okay with my CPU. When I do create video preview thumbnails, I looked and it's only generating about 
of my CPU usage so I can do other things during this time. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to have it set for midnight to 8 a.m. So what I'm going to do now is to add a movie and show what happens as it is automatically generating that video preview. Right now, someone in the theater is watching another movie. Let's see what the activity shows. I'm going to go to Dashboard, and it's Kill Bill Volume 1. So it is a 1080p, and it's playing directly, so there's no transcoding going on. So anything that I do on the server right now is really not going to have much of an effect. I'm going to scroll down and look at the CPU usage. So for a direct play movie, this CPU is barely doing anything. My media server is on a Synology DS918+, Plus, and the CPU for that's pretty good for Plex. I highly recommend it. Let me go add a movie, and then we'll look and see what this does to the CPU. So looking at my movies, um, I noticed that I had Rambo uh, First Blood and the most recent Rambo, but I did not have the Part 3. I do have First Blood, but it's alphabetized under F. So I did get my copy of Rambo 3 and ripped it. So now I'm going to add that to Plex. I'm going to go to Movies and have it scan the library. So it's going to find that Rambo movie that I just added. There it is, Rambo 3. It's going to take a minute to get the metadata. You can see up here this activity symbol has a circle going around it. That's telling me that it is making those video preview thumbnails. So the metadata is loaded, but let's see what's going on here. So it shows me that it's generating the video thumbnails, and it's almost done. So I'm going to quickly look at my dashboard and see what the CPU is doing. So it got up to about 40%. The system was at 60, but the, the Plex Media Server was about 40%, just for a moment. And then spent most of the time around 25%. But it's done with that. So you can see how quick that was. That took about a minute, uh, which is pretty quick. I've seen it take about uh, 10 minutes before, depending on the file size, depending on the movie length. So this is a lot quicker than I expected. Also up here, if my version of Kill Bill Volume 1 had the video preview thumbnails created, I would be able to see here what was going on in the movie. I'd be able to see that video thumbnail. I'm also going to go to my settings and scroll down and look at manage libraries down here at the bottom. And I'm going to show you that you can go to, to movies and edit just the movies library if you go into advanced. And so you can enable the video preview thumbnails for just the movies or disable it if you uncheck it. You can also delete the thumbnails. So if for some reason you decide that these are taking up too much room on your server in your metadata files, you can uncheck this, delete the previews, and then it won't create them anymore. Or if you want to have them for the movies but not for your TV shows, same thing. You can edit the TV show, go to advanced, and then disable it for just the TV shows and delete those thumbnails. And so that would save you space. So what I want to show you now is that if I go back to the dashboard, and I can see the two movies that are playing. There's Kill Bill Volume 1 and there's Rambo 3. Rambo 3 has the video preview thumbnails, and so I can hover over and I can see those thumbnails and it'll show me where in the movie it's playing. And it will update these thumbnails as it goes. So it's not a, con a constant, it's not playing the movie exactly, it's just showing me those thumbnails every 15 seconds or so. But if I go over to the Kill Bill, which has not generated those previews yet, it won't work. So this is only when the movie has already generated the preview thumbnails. So I do want to give you a little bit of a warning. And so I'm going to go back over here to Settings and into the Library and down to the Generate selection. So if you are going to add 
a tremendous amount of media. If this is set to generate thumbnails when media is added, and you add hundreds of movies at a time or thousands, then it is going to generate the thumbnails immediately, and it's going to ignore the schedule task hours. It's just going to start generating the thumbnails, and it won't stop until they're done. So a better way would be to turn this off or set it to never, then load the movies, and then come back here and set them as a scheduled task. Otherwise, your CPU is going to run at whatever level it does run while generating video previews for days or weeks. If you have a very fast CPU, it may not matter. If you have a very slow CPU, and while these are being generated, it's near 100%, and you can't watch movies or do any transcoding, then you most definitely want to turn this off so that they only run during your off hours or during the scheduled task. One other thing I want to show you about thumbnails has to do with movies with end credit scenes. I am Iron Man. So one of the benefits of having the video preview is in the Marvel movies, they have mid credits or end credit scenes. And so before, I would have to fast forward and stop, fast forward and stop, but now I can just flip through the uh, movie, fast forward, until I get to the scene in the thumbnails. Easy peasy. So that's it. That's how you get video preview thumbnails on your Plex movies and TV shows. As I mentioned earlier, my Plex server software is running on a Synology DS918 Plus and I couldn't be happier with it. I highly recommend this as a Plex server for anybody who doesn't have a decent computer that's running a server yet. I read a lot of reviews on it, I loved it, and so far it's done everything that I've needed it to do. Highly recommend it. When it's transcoding a 4K movie down to be able to watch it on my iPhone, it runs the CPU around 20%. And as you saw here, the creation of the thumbnails was between 25 and 40%. So in theory, I could safely let the server create my thumbnails 24 seven until they're all done. But just to be sure that it doesn't interfere with anything that might be going on, I'm gonna keep it at midnight to 8 a.m. for the schedule. I just started my server creating thumbnails recently, and it's taking a few days to get through my 1300 movies. And from what I've seen online, my collection isn't nearly as big as a lot of other people's collections. If you've got a large collection of movies and you want to add the thumbnail previews, hopefully this video has helped you figure out what's going to work best for you.